Okay, you guys, in this video, I am gonna give you a ton of information. Look at my notes for this video. I have study after study showing you that you can naturally protect yourself from the coronavirus. And I'm gonna show you what we know about fasting and it will be very surprising because not all fasts are great to protect yourself. So join me, take notes. You're gonna to wanna to watch this one over and over again, share it out. This is a really good one for those of you that are concerned about the coronavirus. So excited to share it with you. Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and let's talk about the coronavirus. So I know this is a topical uh, conversation that a lot of you are asking us. You're sending us information and asking us what you can do. I see it on my Facebook page. So I really wanted to bring you the science. I wanted to bring you some steps that you can follow. And I want to take the fear out of this because the whole premise of my YouTube channel is to help you remember how powerful you are. You have a, a, an incredible immune system. You have an incredible chemistry inside of you that can, is fighting viruses and bacteria all day long. You don't need to be fearful of this virus. You need to be smart and put yourself in action. And I'm gonna give you a lot of science-based ideas around what you can be doing so that you make sure that if you were to come in contact with the coronavirus, that you would not be affected. So, and because so many of you asked me about fasting, I'm gonna talk about fasting um, as I go through a list of different things you can be doing to protect yourself, I'm gonna dive into fasting and it's really surprising the research I found on fasting. There's some fasts you should be doing to help kill viruses and there's some that you shouldn't be doing. So we'll talk about that as this, as this video goes on. Okay, let me start with three major concepts that I want you to understand. The first one, if you go into fear over this virus, it will suppress your immune system. So the sheer act of raising cortisol, the sheer act of being fearful around this particular situation is of no good to you in fighting this virus, if, if you were to come in contact with it. There is a study, I'm gonna link all of these studies for you guys to see, I will link them in the notes. There was a study done out of Britain that showed that when the elderly, who, who's already immune compromised, when they were depressed or they were in a state of stress or they were in a state of fear, that they actually had less lymphocytes and less T helper cells. Okay, your T helper cells are the cells that fight viruses. So my first point to you is please don't get fearful about it. You are way more powerful than that. And if you go into fear, you've now suppressed your immune system more. Okay, second thing, this one's gonna be shocking to a lot of you guys, but there are two go-to pieces of infection fighting uh, tools that we use as a culture that are not gonna work in this situation. The first one is the mask. So I know here in America that the US Surgeon General just made a point to say, stop buying the masks. This was actually his quote specifically, is that they are not effective, the masks are not effective at preventing the general pu public from catching the coronavirus. And because so many of us are running out and getting masks, they don't have the masks readily available for the people who do have the virus. So. A mask is only going to prevent you from spreading it. It's not going to prevent you from catching it. Okay, second thing that's not gonna work for you is your flu shot. So I know a lot of people are running out to go get the flu shot. Let me, I did some research for you. So I looked up 2019 and 2020 there, whenever we put a flu vaccine out, there are three to four viruses that they are trying to immunize you from them. They are not immunizing you from the coronavirus. So these were determined long ago, a year ago, before we even knew about the coronavirus. According to, this, to the uh, article that I found, I'll link it in here, that right now the flu shot, this particular flu shot is protecting you against two viruses. One is called H1N1. Do you remember that virus? We were all crazy about that virus a few years ago. And the other one is H3N2. 
So there's two viruses, none of them are corona. The flu shot is not going to protect you from the, flu, from the coronavirus. Now the concern with the flu shot is that most flu shots con contain something called thimerosal. If you don't believe me about the flu shot and you wanna go look it up or go and, and, and get one, ask them to show you the ingredient list and look to see if thimerosal is in it. Thimerosal is a code word for mercury and it is known, thimerosal, I'm gonna link the study, is shown to interfere with T cell function. It will suppress your T cells, okay? Your T cells are the natural immune cells that you have to be able to fight viruses. You do not want a lot of thimerosal in you right now while you are trying to naturally fight viruses, okay? Now the third step that I really wanna to bring to your attention, and this is where some action items can come in handy for you all, is that the name of the game to not getting the coronavirus is you don't wanna be a good host. You are come in contact all day long with bacteria. You just don't know it. If I was to put a light on your hands and all over your body right now, you would be disgusted at how many bacteria, viruses, and fungus you come in contact with. And the only way you are going to get an expression of some of these bad viruses and bacteria and start to get symptoms is if you're a, a good, if you're a bad host, meaning that you like allow your, your body to be able to uh, uh, let these viruses proliferate. So there's a couple different ways to make yourself a bad host. Cause we, we, don't, want, we don't want you to be a good host. We want you to be a bad host. So here's what you do, couple things. For starters, stay away from the three S's. That's too much sugar, too much stress, and, too, and make sure that you're not getting too little sleep. So the three S's above all else right now are the most important. Stay away from sugar, lower your stress down, and make sure you're getting enough sleep. And I'll talk about sleep here in, the, in, the, in, the, in a moment. The next thing you can do is that in order to make yourself a bad host, you can start to do, I have one, two, three, I have seven different things you can do to make yourself a really bad host to this virus, okay? First one, get outside. So just go out and get some sunlight. So there's a study that they ha is proving that when we get out and get sunlight, it energizes our T helper cells. So if you are, have a, an immune response to a virus and you've got these T cells inside of you and you get outside in the sun, what you do is you energize your T helper cells. I did this this weekend. I, I put down the computer, I put down the phone, I made sure that I got out in the sun with really one intention was to make sure that I was supporting my immune system as this mass hysteria with the corona, coronavirus is going along. Okay, second easy thing, doesn't cost any money is make sure you're physically active. So this doesn't mean you have to go run a marathon. This doesn't mean that you have to, you know, go and, and up your workouts. You just gotta move. So here was a study that shows that people who are leading a physically active lifestyle reduce their chances of getting bacterial and viral infections. And they even go on to say that it reduced the chances of getting cancer. So are you moving? Um, there, in this article, it went on to say that the elderly, so if you're caring for an elderly, um, they're the ones that are the most vulnerable because as we age, our immune system goes down. Well, there are great studies showing if you can get the elderly up and moving and walking and get them physically active, that you can actually reduce their chances of getting infections. I have an 80, an 80, an 83 year old mom and dad these guys are so active, they're moving around all the time and they rarely get sick. They're a perfect example of this. And they get out in the sun and they are always moving around. They're not like running marathons, but they're moving and that's a, a strong reason why I believe that they, are, they just don't get sick a lot. Okay, third thing, those of you that have a chiropractor, go see your chiropractor, go see your chiropractor on a regular basis. There was a study done back in 1993. So there was a study showing that when people went to their chiropractor regularly, they had a 48% increase in their CD4 cells. Those are the cells specific for fighting viruses. So if you're going to your chiropractor for back and neck pain, go in and tell them, 
I need an immune boost. And you want to go regularly. So that this study was actually done over a six month period. And they found that each month that the patient was going to the chiropractor, their CD4 cells went up and up and up and up. So go get a chiropractic adjustment. Okay, number four, this one's really fun. Eat more kimchi. Okay, now I, I've been telling my patients this, and a lot of my patients have been saying, well, what about sauerkraut? There's a difference. So let me tell you a couple interesting statistics on this. In 2003, we had the SARS epidemic, right? And this was like one of these other mass hysteria viruses that came through. And with the SARS epidemic, it was over in Asia, and they found that in Hong Kong and China, mainland China, they had a huge incidence of uh, outbreak of the SARS virus, right? Okay, but they didn't have the same outbreak in, in Korea. Why was that? Well, they found that in kimchi, there's a very specific bacteria called Lactobacillus plantarium that fights against viruses. And this article, again, I'm going to put, post it in there, is that it's the fermentation of certain ingredients like green onions and ginger that will make it so that your viral immune system gets upregulated. How easy is that? Just go eat a bunch of kimchi. If you don't like kimchi, eat it anyways. It's a lot better than getting the virus. So make sure you, you're putting, we're putting it in, I'll tell you, daily in my house. Okay, three more steps I wanna go through with you. The fifth is what, the fifth step is what nutrients do we know will help to boost our immune system? And there's one, two, three, there's five nutrients I really want you to lean into. Zinc, vitamin D, vitamin C, and echinacea. These have all been shown to be amazing for fighting and preventing the common cold. And the common cold in this article was a viral cold, like a flu, and it was respiratory, which they're saying the coronavirus has a respiratory piece to it. So make sure we have, um, we'll, I'll put a list of the supplements I like to use, and you can just link to them on Revelation Health if you want them, but those supplements, I'll put you the ones we're giving our patients in, in my practice. Okay, sixth one, fasting. We finally came to fasting. Okay, hold on to your hats because this is really important. There, whenever we fast, there are two different types of infections that we're fighting. We're, 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 we're stimulating an immune system that will fight bacteria, and we're stimulating an immune system that will fight viruses. Your shorter fasts, your intermittent fasting, your autophagy fasting, like 17 hours, is going to be good for both bacterial and, and viral, but primarily viral. Your longer fasts are not going to be good for viral. The study I'm gonna put in here is that when you go 24, 36, three days, five days, when you go into these longer fasts, when you have a viral infection, you actually suppress the immune system needed to fight the virus. So right now is not the time to go into a three-day water fast. The shorter fast, intermittent fasting, great, autophagy fasting, awesome. Um, I'm gonna be teaching this in the Women's Metabolic Reset coming up. I'll show you the different fasts that are good for hormones. I'll show you the ones that are good for fighting infections and we'll walk you through that process. So if you wanna join me there, we're starting March 15th, just put uh, Women's Reset and we'll send you a link to that. But not a time for block fasting. Okay, and then last but not least, you guys have heard this over and over again, is sleep. Um, but what I want you to realize is that what happens when you sleep is your stress hormones go down. And when your stress hormones go down, what that does is it makes your T helper cells more sticky. When your stress is high, your T helper cells don't have a stickiness to them. Why would a helper cell need a stickiness? It has to glom on to those viruses and grab on to those viruses. So if you're stressed right now, you're not getting enough sleep, you're lowering that stickiness of the T helper cell, making it so that even if you are eating a ton of kimchi, even if you are getting adjusted, you're, that immune system, you're getting out in the sunlight, that immune system's not going to be as effective. So when you go to sleep, those stress hormones come down and those T helper, helper cells become more sticky. So how much sleep do you need? Seven hours at least. 
So if you are fearful about the coronavirus, right now is the time to put yourself into bed earlier. Last night, I was, it was 8.30, I wasn't tired, I didn't really have anything to do, there was nothing on TV I wanted to watch, and I thought, okay, I'm gonna get into bed, I'm gonna get, force myself to get extra sleep because I wanna keep my immune system high while every, we have this coronavirus situation going through um, our, our society. So um, sleep, massively important, okay? So, I mean, ask yourself, are you doing all those things? If you are, great, just do more of them. If you're not, hopefully I gave you a lot of, a lot of good ideas. Um, so give me comments, let me know. Was that helpful? Which ones seem to work the best for you? We have an amazing community here on YouTube and you guys are so good at supporting each other and, and helping each other out. If you want into my Women's Metabolic Reset where I teach all of these different techniques, not just to unstick your weight, but to boost your immune system and keep you healthy, uh, join me there, just put Women's Reset. And as always, you're a miracle. Don't ever let anybody take your power away. You hold the power. The power is not in the media. We don't need to be freaked out about this. You have the power to make sure you don't get the coronavirus. I hope that helps.